Hey guys, so we're gonna do a different video today. Um, I'm doing a garage sale haul video. I don't traditionally do a lot of these garage sale videos. I just kind of feel weird. Walk around with the you know, camera on my, vet, on my chest or with a camera, whatever. It just, I don't know, it just feels kind of awkward and I feel like I'm focusing more on what the camera's filming versus being able to focus on what I'm actually buying, if that makes sense. So I wanna show you guys what I found because I had a heck of a weekend with buying stuff this weekend. And uh, I want y'all to tell me what y'all think. Let me know what your favorite find is. If you guys like this kind of video, let me know in the comments and let's get to it. Okay, so the first sale I went to was by accident. I was looking for another sale and uh, <clears throat> the addresses were really, really similar. And I went to this one first and this guy had all this stuff here. And these are all um, these printers, the, the label makers or whatever. And he had all these, he had these three. He had this guy, this one right here is a really expensive one, as well as this one. And he, he was asking $75 each. Then he said he'd do $250 for all of them. And I got him to do 200 for everything. Well, he called me later on and said that um, he had all of ribbon if I wanted to come pick it up. And I said, sure. I wasn't expecting this. So he has all these boxes full of ribbon. As you see, it's a bunch of them. This box full of more labels and ribbon. Got all these boxes over here full of ribbons and, lab and labels. And this humongous tote full of more labeling cartridges so there's 90 in here if you look these up on ebay each one of those goes for about 15 to 20 bucks each one of them i have 90 so y'all do the math these here go between 30 to 40 dollars each one y'all do the math and there's what one two three four five six seven eight nine ten there's about 30 to 40 in here there's probably 40 in here not including all these i don't even count these there's many of them Cool thing is, is I called a buddy of mine who is coming by in a couple minutes to buy all this for me. I would say there's at least $2,000 plus in value here, but I don't have the time to list it. I didn't know I was getting all this. I had no idea I was getting all that. I was expecting this and maybe a box like this full of stuff. was not expecting all this. So I'm going to go ahead and sell everything that I have here to my buddy for $600. I'm going to make triple my money, which is usually my goal to triple my money and it's gone within you know a day and i'll let him source it out and get it listed and get it on ebay or whatever he wants to do and this is all i'm gonna do just put it out here on the table he's gonna pick it up triple my money and i'm good to go all right you're gonna like this stuff better over here um this is the second cell i went to these people here the mom was put in a home the house was empty for about 15, 20 years. And man, they had such good deals on some of this stuff. Look at this mirror. Isn't it nice? It's got this little print up there. Um, looks like these guys are playing polo or something. So it looks like, yeah, polos. Let's give, give him a polo there. $2 for that guy. I found this in the attic. I went up in the attic and looked for them to see if they had any more stuff. They let me have that. This guy here. You guys won't believe how much I paid for that. 10 bucks for that guy and I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put a comp here these things are selling for about 150 to 200 dollars I couldn't believe it I, I, I didn't I didn't even look it up I saw that was ten dollars and I took it I think at this sale at this sale right here I spent fifty dollars two hundred dollars here I'm gonna triple my money guaranteed I spent fifty dollars here I went into the attic in the garage and I went into the attic in their inside the house and uh, the lady was really really appreciative and um and i can't find this calculator i've seen the calculator there this guy here so y'all know this ti texas instruments calculators are worth some money and i asked her how much she wanted for it because it didn't work um probably just needs new batteries and she let me have it so i spent 50 dollars for all this stuff this guy here alone that she gives me for free, if it works, it's gonna cover the cost of the entire lot. Got that guy there, you got this magic cooker, uh, clay pottery, um, like a little cooking thing, whatever it is. That guy there, this fireplace screen, that's 200 bucks right there, at least. 150, 200 bucks, I'll probably put that in the booth. This kettle. I 
like this guy to put in the booth. It's a, it's a paper towel holder with roosters on there. Um, there's stuff in here too, guys. Let's see. You have these bookends. Oh, man. You know what I'm going to do? I'm, when he comes and picks this stuff up, I'll put everything on here so you can see it. But for now, I'm just going to do a quick overview. Stuff like this to put at the booth. Nothing real expensive, but neat stuff. And like I said, once that table is free, I will set the stuff on here so you can get a better look. Okay. Cell number three. This one here was a doozy. I think I spent around 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 50. I spent about $170 here, maybe $180. Let's run it up to $200 because of the jewelry. This was $20. Bucks. But uh, let's run it up to $200 I spent at this garage sale. This ladder here is brand new. Sitting in the garage. I'm going to get a good penny for that guy. It's a Warner. Um, it's a 12 or 10 foot ladder. Maybe a 10 foot ladder. Oh, it's an 8 foot ladder. It holds up to 150 pounds. So I'm going to look this up and show you guys how much these go for brand new. Um, this pump she gave me for $10 is brand new. And it's uh, this is a $60 pump right here. And has never been used. You got these Canon uh, lenses. These are brand new. It's two of them. $20 each. I don't want to open them up with one hand and drop it. But they're brand new. They're, they got the plastic. haven't been opened. $20 each. And I'll probably get $60 to $80 each one of those easily. You got these uh, umbrella um, heaters. You put these on your umbrella underneath, uh, like in your patio, and uh, you could bend these down, up, or whatever, and it's gonna heat up the space under there. $20 each one of these. These between $150 to $200 each one of them that I'm gonna be able to get. I got these cute guys here. They're um, dog life jackets. She gave them to me for $5 each one. Uh, they sell for 15 to 20 bucks on eBay. I'll get those listed up and probably list them for around 15 and get them gone. But they're brand new, never been used. $5 for these three. These Railvac uh, little uh, lanterns. The electric uh, lanterns, you put them, you know, for outdoors or whatever, and uh, you, they're battery operated. That's a good little score there. She gave me all these comics for $20. And uh, they're brand new, haven't been opened. Got this one here, it's Spider Man. Um, has these skybox cards with there with it too and it's two and one so I don't know what the other one is but you got those two you got this Wolverine one which is a real good one it's also a two pack from 1997 but I don't know what the other one is so that's that's the thing got this Iron Man one this other Wolverine comic You got Spider-Man, like these, you can see both of them. This two pack, Spider-Man and Shock, and Spider-Man Stampede Land, whatever. Spider-Man Enter the Dragonfly, and Spider-Man with this guy here. It looks like Bishop, yeah, Bishop, the X-Men, Generation X. I haven't even looked at these, so this is, I, she, she sold me 20 bucks for all these, and I said, I'll take them. This Wolverine comic, that other Wolverine comic. So I'm going to look them up to see how much these are going for, and how much I can put them in my booth, and uh, just sell them there. This guy here. X-Men, A Son's Pain. I don't know who that is. That looks like... Is that Storm or Psylocke? Looks like Storm. And that one there. Cable. That's a cool looking comic. Another Bishop one. I think this is the same one. Yeah, this is the same one. Another Wolverine one. 
and the last one is another Spider-Man one. So these are really cool comics. I'd pay 20 bucks for all those. I paid up a little bit for these video games because she made me such a good deal and everything. This was the last thing that I bought, and she said $30. You got this guy right here, Track and Field 2, NCAA Basketball, Super Mario Brothers on Super Mario World. Uh, this one here is probably about a $20, $30 game by itself. You got this Xbox NFL Fever 2002. It's brand new. Hasn't been opened, so I'll see how much that's worth. And then you got this Madden 2002. On Xbox it hasn't been open either brand new so I should be able to do well on those this um, passport 8500 it's a uh, radar detector that you put in your car she gave me I think she asked 20 dollars for that guy too 10 or 20 dollars I'll forget but these are going for 80 to 100 dollars at least and this one's never been opened uh, these really cool uh, hand carved knives man these are these are like really really cool uh, hand carved in Costa Rica they're like souvenir th things you get the souvenir shop but uh, that looks like a leprechaun is what it looks like but that's such a cool knife I mean it's not functional it's not you know it's not sharp or anything but it's just really nice decoration this has got this little frog on there the guy with mushrooms on his head just really really cool stuff and then of course the last thing that we got was all this jewelry all this jewelry was 20 bucks went to the sale before this, I went to a different cell, but uh, she didn't have a lot out, and I just happened to ask if she had jewelry. She went inside, brought all this stuff. People started trying to dig in. I had to swipe their hands away and ask her how, she, how much she wanted for everything, and she goes, give me 20 bucks, and I said, sold. So my wife's kind of been through here, and it's kind of like taking out some of the pieces that she's going to list. Some nice stuff. Cute little rings. I don't think anything here is silver. It's all costume, but I mean, if I get $5 for that ring... A couple bucks for that ring, five dollars for that ring, five dollars for this ring. I mean, just in this little bitty thing of rings right here, I got 20 bucks. Then you got cute little rings like this with a little turtle. I mean, this is a nice little ring. I'll probably get more than five bucks for that guy, but you know, we'll see. Little brooch of the jewelry, and that's not even scratching the surface here. There's a lot of stuff here, a lot, a lot of stuff. So we're going to go through that. I think I got about, not including the jewelry, with this stuff over here, about $600 worth of stuff um, invested around two. That puts me at my triple. Um, that's the minimum I'm going to get, 600 dollars probably have more once I get everything really sorted out and I know how much I'm going to sell stuff for. Because I might list these for about $150 to $200 each, being that season's coming up. So that's $400 there. So... We'll see. We'll, we might be pushing seven fifty on with all this stuff. Because I forgot about the ladder. We still have that ladder too. All right, so I'm happy to say that all that stuff is gone, as you can see. And now here is the stuff that I bought at that second sale that I want to do the recap over. Um, I'm just going to go left to right, or right to left, I guess. These big golden books are pretty good. Um, Double it up, that is Disney, it's even better. Got that Cinderella one there. Got these Sesame Street magazines. They've never been open. I'm not sure if there's any value or not. Got this Hansel and Gretel puzzle. It's another one. Snow White puzzle. And uh, some of these have been lotting up pretty good in sets of like four for about 20 bucks. So I don't know, if I get $5, $4 each, I'll be good. That is Mickey Mouse Meets the Giant. It's a little classic book here. Uh, play School Puzzle of Simba. Play School Puzzle of Cookie Monster. Barney's real good. Barney, uh, Barney's been real popular. And you think Barney right now is coming back is real good. And then another book of uh, The Lion King. So, Disney always does really well. Um, like I said, I was in the attic, man, trying to help these people out and get stuff. They were older and didn't like, to, didn't want to get in the attic. I did find this one in the attic, and they told me I can have it. So I'm gonna take this one to the booth. It's a little bent up. I'll try to, you know, form it back into shape somewhat. Other than that, it's in decent condition. Some kind of potato chip company, Charles Chips. 
I don't see any kind of date on here, so I'm not sure how old it is. But uh, I think it's vintage. It's been in the... It's at least 20 years old because they said they haven't been in the house for 15, 20 years. So I would say it's at least 20 years old. This was neat. I've never seen this before. I've heard of Kershaw knives before, but this is like a kitchen knife and uh, interchangeable blades. You lift this up and... Um, let me set this down so you guys can see. So you lift this up here to unlock it. Probably need some lubrication since it's been sitting for so long. There we go. And then you got the interchangeable blades in here. So I'll lock this all up in one set and see what I can get for it. I'll clean it up. All this stuff's going to have to be cleaned before I actually put it in the booth or put it online because um, you could tell there was a roast infestation and they had done extermination and it was pretty bad in there. All right, next we have this Supreme Cuttery, um, a towel silver company. I'm not sure if these are silver or not, but it's a set of knives. Not that expensive, but I pay 50 bucks for everything here. So it's basically, you know, a couple bucks each piece. Next, I found, let's see, we got like a little sharpening stone. Easy lap, don't pretend it's good. I like these because they're multi tools. They're by a company called Echo. And it's a bottle opener, can opener, and uh, also a wine opener. So that's kind of neat. Same thing with this one. Vintage. I uh, bought some Christmas stuff to put at the booth. These little Santas. Now, they were like originally at Kirkland's for eight bucks. I got them half off. I mean, I'll put. I'll probably put them at the booth for. I don't know, three, four bucks each, maybe. We'll see. That guy there. It's like a little basket. Uh, Christmas is coming up. A little bookends. It's kind of cute. These mugs always do very well. And like I said, they're basically like 50 cents each. Now I'm gonna need y'all's help with this because I have no idea what this is. It has a number right there. I can't really make out what it says. I don't see any name, but I have no idea what that is. So if you know what this is, leave a comment, let me know. Because I have no clue. This is obviously the handle lays on something, but for what purpose, I have no idea. All right, I have a couple little bells, but I only picked a few of them up. This one here, because it has a Christmas tree on top. Add that with the Christmas things. Um, I wanna, I don't know if this is Hummel or not. It looks Hummel-ish. It does work. little bell I bought this guy because he's made in Japan uh, dabs whatever the company that is made in Japan it's a doctor or you know maybe a dentist like he's saying make him say ah uh, maybe that's what he's saying very very good condition I thought I'd pick him up and this Avon bottle this is a really nice one it's a little parakeet it's got cologne in it very very pretty so I'll see how much these go for because some of the plain ones don't do very well but this one being as colorful and as pretty and unique it might go for a little bit more um iris picked up a lot of the stuff she's actually been doing really good and helping me find stuff she actually picks this one up it's uh exclusive exclusive from japan fly catcher i think she ran comps and they were selling for like 12 15 bucks and i think it had like a dollar price tag on it so uh, like I said, she's been doing good. She's been trying to get herself into finding stuff and helping me out uh, with sourcing things. There's that kennel. I guess it's copper. And these guys here, a bunch of wooden pineapple plates, large bowl. Um, I don't know. It says monkey pod wood. Phil Craft from the Philippines. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. Maybe some kind of seed or something. But a uh, nice little wooden bowl, all hand carved. And of course, you got the one for the corner of the cob, corner of the cob holders. Some wooden 
spoon. And uh, these are kind of neat. These are salt and pepper shakers, but these are for like the barbecue pit, I guess, to to reach over into the pit so you don't get your hand burnt. You got these long handles on them. I thought that was pretty cool. Again, we'll finish up with this guy here. I saw that mirror with the little artwork on top. And the gem, the hidden gem, 10 bucks for this guy. I had no idea what it was. It's about 150, 200 bucks right there. All right, so looking over this lot, like I said, I spent 50 bucks on it. I'm thinking easily, an easy, 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 without even trying, $300 here with a $50 investment. So, glad I found this, guys. Y'all tell me in the comments, what was your favorite find? What was your favorite find? I don't know, it was a bunch of good stuff for three, it was really three main garage sales and one that was there for literally like 10, 15 minutes that I got that jewelry at. That might be y'all's favorite find, the jewelry. All right, guys, well, that's gonna do it for today's video. A little bit different, only a haul, garage sale haul for that. But I hope you guys still enjoyed it. You know, you get to see a little bit of what I do uh, with that trash picking money. And that's the way, that's what that's what I do. I, I, I get the money that I make from trash picking and I go to these garage sales and I buy nicer things and I put that in my booth. I uh, try not to put very much stuff in the booth that's thrown in the trash. Do a couple pieces make it every now and then? Yes, they do. Uh, but it's not very, it's, it's very rare. Very few pieces make it there. So thanks again for watching. Um, Father, we just want to thank you so much for the many blessings. Thank you, Lord, for these great finds. Thank you for waking me up this morning, Lord, uh, to be, have the opportunity to uh, to live life, Lord, in this this beautiful world that you have uh, set up for us. And uh, we really are blessed to be here, Father. And uh, we just want to thank you so much for everything that you do for us. Uh, Father, I would just ask you that you would put your hands on the sick, heal those that are in pain, Father, uh, touch the hearts of those who need you, Lord. And uh, we just ask all these things in the mighty Jesus' name. Amen. All right, guys, till next time, we'll see you. Peace.